Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every day to keep our group chat fun going all week long. Today's question is, how many different houses have you lived in in your life? And for this, we are including apartments, dorms, domiciles of all sorts. And uh, we thought we'd give them a quick count and uh, see how we compare here. I think uh, Catherine's got me beat and Nicole's probably got both of us beat, (laughs) but... uh, I counted up 13 for myself. Uh, There was a house that my family lived in when I was born that I don't even remember, but I know it was there. I've seen pictures. I grew up in the same house all my childhood, high school. We didn't move at all, but in my college years and 20s, I moved around a lot. Uh, And then since I've been married, I've lived in two different houses. So 13 seems like a, a bout, right? But most of that was, it was like, you know, Two houses for my first 18 years, two houses for the past 25 years, and in between, a whole whole bunch bunch. of apartments. (laughs) (laughs) How about you, Catherine? How did you count up yours? Yeah, when I was a kid, we lived, I basically only remember one house, but there were actually two before that one um, from when I was little. And one of them was actually across the street from the Mm -hmm. main one that I lived in. We lived in that house, then we moved out of town a little ways, and then my parents took a sabbatical to England, as we've mentioned oh. on this podcast before, with the Fancy. Mm-hmm. with the um, crying babies at the rental car place. Um, <laughs> That's right. There were, my favorite story. I believe there were two places there in that one year that we stayed. So my childhood was actually five, even though it just felt, wow. it felt like just one to me. Um, (laughs) and yeah, then there was like the various college and, um, dorms and apartments and I studied abroad for a year or for a semester. Uh Uh-huh. So I lived with a family over there, um, lived in a couple apartments in New York City when I first moved there after college and then two places with my husband, one, one apartment in New Jersey and one house now. Yep. We think of all those places we lived, like, in our 20s and how much rent we paid yeah. <laughs> deposits. And well, and I stuff. have a, a friend who's been living in this country for a, quite a long time, and she's decided that she wants to become a citizen. And mm-hmm. so she has to come up with all of her addresses. Oh, which, my gosh. Actually, I don't think that's going to be that hard. But every time she left the country, like every time she went oh. back to Canada or, you know, took a vacation somewhere or whatever, she has to account for that for 10 years. Oh, wow. So she's like, this, mm-hmm. that would be hard this all that. is going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> we need it, yeah. Every now and then for like some proof of identification for something, have you ever had? They give you a bunch of addresses and said, have you ever lived at these yeah. addresses? And, uh, you know, some of them it's like, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I remember that I place. Did. And some of them it's <laughs> like, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Did right. I? Does it look familiar? Well, I remember a couple years ago there was that, like, website called, like, Spokio or something. And you had to go, you had to yeah. go check and see yes, what kind of yeah. information they had and delete it. And, and I remember uh-huh. I checked it and it said that I was still living, that it said that I was living in my husband's old apartment with his <laughs> old roommate. Like, the three of us were still there living together, like, 10, 15 oh, years God. later. Oh, God. It could be a sitcom. <laughs> Sounds yeah. a little shady. Yeah. So, that's how accurate that website was. Just saying. <laughs> so, Nicole, tell us about all your many, many places you've lived. Well, I think I'm up around 30-ish, if not wow. more, I want to say. I, because my husband and I have moved 19 times since we've been married. Oh, my gosh. That's right. And like Catherine's friend, when we moved to the States, we had to list every domicile <laughs> we had lived in. <laughs> <laughs> and that was agonizing. Yeah. And I moved around a lot as, so, you know, half of my life has been with my husband moving around. Yeah. And then as a child, uh, I lived, well, I lived in um, Canada, Australia, and the Fiji Islands all before I was three. So, (laughs) and then I stayed in my, so then we moved back again from the Fiji Islands to Canada when I was three, four, actually. And then I lived in uh, three different houses 
during my school years, during my elementary and elementary school years. Mm -hmm. And then in high school, I lived in Australia for a year. Wow. And then I had um, two different houses in my high, so three total in my high school years. And um, yeah, and then going off to university and being married and... Wow. Actually, you know, this house that we're in now here in California, this is mm-hmm. the longest that mm-hmm. I've ever lived in one house. Wow. And it's been nine wow. years. Gee. So that's the absolute longest. Actually, it's the longest we've ever lived in one community. Wow. So we are putting down right. roots, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if that makes you the winner of this or the loser, but <laughs> I feel like the... <laughs> you have been supporting yeah, yeah. the moving industry that's quite sure. nicely. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We've been... Uh, doing our job to stimulate the economy. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) And we appreciate it. That's it for today's speed round. Come back tomorrow for our much longer group chat and visit parentingroundabout.com for all our weekly episodes.